What you doing, Wicky Wick? Doing a little interior frame painting with this silly plastic hose that came coiled up in like about a half inch diameter coil. Uh oh. And, um, oh, that's nice. Uh, now you're in trouble. And, uh, yeah, so I had to spend about five minutes with a heat gun to straighten it out enough so I could shove it up in there, but that's what I'm doing. Well, that's cute. So coiled up. Yeah, I'm, I'm painting the inside of this powder coated, quote unquote, powder coated frame from Jim. Jim's not very sharp. Mm -mm. Wick is not a fan of Jim. Not, not, a, not a fan of Jim today or last week. I'm not a fan of Jim either, but at least we have a frame that doesn't have a oh, rust hole in it. That. Oh, nice. Why are you making a damn mess? Yeah. Oh well. It's getting there. So, this Eastwood stuff is actually pretty cool comes with this hose, you stick it in the holes in the frame, and you pull the tube back out, and it's got a spray that goes up and sprays the inside. Very great idea. Until you open the package. Uh-oh. And whoever came up with this idea was a rocket scientist. Because guess what? When you unroll that plastic tube, it stays in this shape. So when you try to shove this tube down a frame, all it does is coil up on itself, and then you get paint all, all over you, kind of. So the last one I did, I, I took this out and straightened it out and spent about five minutes with a heat gun to get it straight. So I'll have to do that with this to use this excellent Eastwood product. The product is good. The application tool is stupidly Good idea, sold. just a bad execution saving a little money on shipping yeah like if the tube were straight in here or maybe multiple sections of straight that would be really cool might have added a hundredth of a cent to the cost however wick's business sense and engineering <laughs> sense shining through eastwood take notes so this is how you fix the eastwood applicator nozzle so that it doesn't curl up inside of the frame when you use it seems like a bit of a waste of time to have to do this but you do and it comes out all right as long as you don't set the moving blanket on fire with the heat gun yeah that's a good thing about working with asbestos it's less likely oh <laughs> i don't think it's asbestos but whatever it is it's a welding blanket it should be okay but you do have to try not to melt the tube so far i've been able to not melt the tube but yeah, I got a couple more to go, so not sure if I'll be able to maintain that record or not. That's okay, because there's a fire extinguisher right here. Yeah, there's another one over there. I've never even noticed where they are, because if something catches on fire, I'm just going to run. Yeah, before it hits the gasoline. Yeah. Probably a good move. All right, so let's see what that's like. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Wick unclips it. Bloop. Yeah. That's exactly what you don't want it to do. Yeah, because that could curl up in the frame and then it would just magically blow its load Back all over your face. Back top of you, which is really nice. Yeah, some people are into that. I don't know about with paint, but yeah. Well, I wasn't talking about paint, but in general. So yeah, so we got it. We go went too far again. A few more minutes on this. So while Wick is cooking, usually, the cooking that goes on in this neighborhood's kind of illicit, but. Yeah. 